My name is Charles. 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It set me on a journey to better understand this condition. It's taken me around the world as I hope to change not only my life, but others living with this disease. I've teamed up with some of the best in health to find ways to not only control, but to reverse. It does not take much to live for others, and what we leave is how we will be remembered. I hope at the end of this journey, we will see that hope is a good thing and the start of a better future. Welcome to Reversed. So I'm Charles Maddox, and I am the director and producer of Reverse Carnivore. Last year we were um, here in Costa Rica for the keto version of this, and it went tremendous. Um, you remember we had Jerome uh, uh, featured on the show. Unfortunately, he uh, passed away from some complications of, uh, of, of heart disease because I hate when people say diet. I think it's a, an appreciation for someone to actually go through an experiment. And oh. then, you know, like if you were actually my healthcare provider, it's more believable. Yeah. Maria Emmerich was here, Dr. Ken Berry. And we're excited about this one because we are now using uh, carnivore, which is, is like Dr. Uh, Kilt says, Keto is for the masses, carnivore is for the masters. I was taught that fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, and no red meat, and three to six meals a day is good for you. But eventually I suffered. Bowel bleeding, arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, and more. And one day, I learned about this. And through carnivore, it all went away. For me, it's bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and salt. Oh, there's an eye in there for intermittently feasting and ice cream but it's Kiltz's ice cream. This stuff didn't make sense to me, but I worked it out and I figured it out. Plants are poisonous and meat is healthy and it makes you the master. I found it interesting because I remember when I was first told about carnivore, I was like, you can't be serious. There's no way that eating bacon and eggs and, and hamburgers can be good for you. And I did some research and obviously the same people who are in the keto space are also in the carnivore space. So as I started to do some research, I saw that this was something that actually needed to be talked about. And the health benefits have been unbelievable. I myself also do carnivore. I want to say I, I'm probably 95% carnivore. Um, and I think that this new season, what we're going to be able to really showcase is understanding the body. You know, I, I want to bring these experts here to show these guests and even the audience what proper nutrition really is all about. Understanding what carbs, starch, uh, sugars, uh, the processed foods that we put into our bodies is really all about. You know, I'm excited about having Dr. Ken back, um, Dr. Kiltz, Dr. Anthony Chafee, Dr. Tony, uh, Maria Emmerich, Kelly, uh, Sarah, I mean, some of these experts are unbelievable and have come all the way from Australia, uh, Hawaii, to be a part of this. Reverse is not per se reversing diabetes or conditions. It's about reversing the mental, physical, and spiritual state that we're in. And once we're educated, at times once we're inspired, so many things could be changed. 
you know, let's hope that Reverse can continue to change lives. And um, this is going to be a great series. This is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of education. And um, yeah, Puerto Vida. <laughs>
turn around undo diabetes now you know the season that we're going to be doing is on carnivore what what, what were your first thoughts on that well i am very open to the whole diet aspect i believe that that is even more primary than the movement aspect in getting down my blood sugar levels so i had tried the low carb diet and when i heard of the carnivore series I realized that it's protein, which is a very extreme end of being low carb. So I was, I am willing, was willing to try each and anything that I feel could bring me to that place where I could live with longevity, I can live with health, I can live with hope. And your vision, Charles, is a vision that I would personally like to carry out in my own daily interactions with friends and family, with people in Canada and the Caribbean where I hail from. Well, you know what? I, your passion literally just blew me away. I would like to I would like to invite you guys both to be on reversed and come. Hey. To both of us? Yes. Oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, of course we are. We accept without hesitation. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, you so know. much. Oh, my goodness. So thank you guys both. And I will see you both in Costa Rica very soon. And Susan, thanks for being so patient over the next, uh, over the last few uh, weeks and, and, and months. And um, uh, I look forward to, to uh, creating something amazing with, with both of you. Hello, my name is Maria Jimenez Baquit. I'm from Costa Rica. I'm a mother of three, Sebastian 17, Gabby 14, and Ari 9. And I'm looking forward to be on this series, Carnivore, because my health has been on the edge for many years. Hey, Maria. <laughs> Hey, nice meeting you. How are you? Yeah. Great, 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 great. It's um, so good to meet you. It like is. I follow you. I kind of know you, but <laughs> So 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 tell us you've been following us for a while. Tell us a little bit about how you found us and and you know, your thoughts about being on the series. I was in philosophy, a program run by Dr. Donald Vega in Costa Rica and he I was attending a live and he said that he was in a reality show that was recorded in Costa Rica and Costa Rican. And I started looking for it. I'm not a big TV uh, watching person. Like I don't really watch, but when there's uh, things about uh, life that interest me and especially these health, uh, I look for it. Tell us number one about the thought of doing carnival because this is a carnivore series. Well, I've been following, very excited to learn about it because I've done so good in keto and low carb. Um, I don't really knew much about carnivore, but I started following what Dr. Ken Berry has uh, in his YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited. It makes a lot of sense in many ways. Yeah. Well, I, I would love to have you on this new series. What? Yeah, yeah. What? Can I go? Can I meet the experts? I really would. I think that, number one, you being local and, you know, part of what we want to do is always make sure we include a lot of local people in wherever uh, country or, or, or city that we shoot. Number two, I love I love your personality. And I think that you've, since you've already worked with uh, Donald Vega, I think that makes a really good connection to as well, because um, it's kind of like, you know, teacher meets student type of thing. And and you guys can meet face to face. And yes, I've never met him. So that'll be awesome. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So, well, I'm excited to have you. And I thank you so much for um, staying in touch and keeping in in tune with us. And uh, I look forward to uh See you in uh, in Costa Rica, Puerto Vida. Yes, Puerto Vida. I'll <laughs> I'll hope to see you soon. Thank you so much, really. My name's Natalie. I um, 
I've had a lot of struggles with weight over over my whole life, and um, I started with keto because I had gotten to my highest weight that I had ever been in the beginning of the pandemic, and. Um, I wanted to do keto to lose weight, and that led me to carnivore, and then I started moving my diet um, towards, um, for a while, really a ketovore approach. My name's Natalie, and I'm a couple years in on my journey right now. I, um, I can't wait to come and meet the experts who are coming on reversed they've already helped me a ton i have a history of pre-diabetes and i knew that that was a a bad direction that i was going in so i was ready to change i started keto at first to lose weight and that's what led me to carnivore information at first i thought carnivore sounded um pretty crazy it sounded um as it sounded pretty much the opposite of everything that I had been taught was healthy. I started moving my diet in that direction pretty much immediately and then finding uh, Maria Emmerich and, and learning from her how to target fat loss, I, um, I adjusted things further and um, got insane results. I saw my body go from the largest that it had ever been to the smallest that I've ever been in just a couple years. Um, it's really unbelievable. And now moving forward, I need to make sure that I nail down maintenance um, and can keep the results that I've worked for and can continue um, to, uh, to improve my overall health and inflammation. And I know that the experts coming on have a lot of knowledge in these areas. Um, it's really unbelievable that I get to work with them in person. And I, it's really unbelievable that I'm going to get to thank Maria in person for all the help that I've already gotten from her. Um, this is just going to be unreal. I can't wait. How was your flight? It was good. How Where'd you come from? I came from Portland. Portland. That was yeah. quite a long flight, huh? It was a long flight. Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was a, a short flight to LA and then, and then an overnight flight. Mm. Now mine was mine was long too. Yours had to have been longer than mine. <laughs> yeah, Hawaii is a long flight to here, but I'm very looking forward to. My name is Maria Emmerich. I'm an international best-selling author of over 20 books. Um, I am a nutritionist that works with people such as Halle Berry. I want everybody to understand the why carnivore is the way we were meant to eat, why carnivore has the most nutrients for people. And I know people are like, it's carnivore, you just eat meat and salt. I think it can be more interesting than that. I don't think I would stick to it if it was just steak every day. So I like to make it fun and interesting and delicious. Just helping everybody, because you have quite the story. Why, why again did you, why are you interested in carnivore? Well, I originally came from keto, really, because I, um, I've i always struggled with being overweight and obese um, pretty much all my life. And I ended up so with- So small now. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you helped me with that a lot. Um, Finding you really made a made a difference with that, and learning um, how to change things up. Well, you're very inspiring. Can I say your highest weight? Uh, was I, two... I was two twenty three at my highest. Yeah. So you're already an inspiration to so many people. Yeah, yeah. From my highest to my lowest, it was a hundred pounds lost. I'm just excited to cook for everybody and teach everybody and mm -hmm. getting to know you better. I think. That makes me so happy. I'm serious. That makes me feel so good. Maria, I'm you're serious. so sweet. Oh no, I love being here and I love the first season and this one's gonna be even better. Food changed my life and it can for you too. Like it's as simple as that. It, it, I'm a completely 100% different person. Um, and you can too. And it's, it's hard choosing what you put in your mouth it's not easy at first, but now I don't even see the Franken food as food anymore. I know what makes me feel good, and I just want everybody to know that food can really change your life in many, many ways. Coming up, 
on reversed. You know, I, I gotta be honest to you. Uh, you. You had me very worried. So, Dennis has just come over to the lion's side a few years ago. What got you to do that? So did you know that beef is the most nutrient-dense food? Yes, it is. Carbs, plants, and sugars damage our cells and bodies, causing dysfunction and disease. Leading fertility specialist, Dr. Robert Kiltz, has a solution for improving your health and wellness. A high-fat, no-carb carnivore diet featuring inflammation-reducing foods like bacon, eggs, butter, and beef, combined with intermittent feasting, improves glucose and insulin levels and virtually all aspects of your health. Learn more in Dr. Kiltz's new book, Kiltz's Keto is Carnivore, a guide for a fertile life and beyond. Available at Amazon.com. In today's world, eating healthy takes effort. That's why at U.S. Wellness Meats, we've had one mission since we started, to produce meat, dairy, and other products that are healthy and delicious, and that our customers love. In these days of empty calories and convenience above all, it may not be easy to grow real food from the ground up, but we think it's the most important work there is. Aloha friends, I am so excited because I'm making carnivore lasagna. Yes, you can make lasagna on a carnivore diet and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Super simple, um, I started by ground, browning some ground beef and that's all seasoned and I'm gonna put that at the bottom of a casserole dish. And I'm gonna put about half of it in the bottom. And the definition of lasagna just means layering. So we're gonna layer it with some delicious carnivore ingredients. I'm gonna add my sauce and obviously Pasta sauce has tomatoes, so we don't want to use that. So we are using my brown butter cheese sauce. And I'm going to layer that into the pan over the ground beef. And I have my oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to use protein noodles. And protein noodles are thinly slices of turkey or chicken, whatever you want. And we're going to lay that over the sauce. And this is super delicious. And usually when I make these, I make about three batches. So I'll do extra of everything else and I'll make three pans of lasagna. And then I'll put two in the freezer. Then I'm gonna do a layer of mozzarella. I'll put two in the freezer for easy dinners. Nice layer here, maybe some Parmesan over the top. And then we're gonna repeat the layers and you have a carnivore lasagna made in no time. So I'm excited to see you, young lady. Really happy to see you. Yeah, why? I just am really grateful for you. Um, I am really excited that you're doing this. This series I think is gonna be really powerful. Um, I think it's gonna help a lot of people and it's an amazing privilege to be here and be included. You know, I, I gotta be honest to you. I, you. You had me very worried, very worried. And part of me was like, oh, maybe this is not the time for her. Maybe this wasn't the right environment, right, you know, series to be a part of. Even though I know you have a lot of passion for, for you know, carnivore and, and this, this way of eating. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I know you're dealing with a lot of anxieties and things like that. And I mean, are you going to be all right? Because I don't want to put you in a situation where, you know, I feel like you're um, pushing you too much. I was concerned for a while, too, because this is, um, this is really out of, out of my nature. I am um, pretty introverted and, and pretty, um, pretty reserved. and. Um, I have an autoimmune condition called ankylosing spondylitis. It affects uh, my spine, my SI joints, and my hips mainly, but it can affect other things. I really want to see how well I can manage my autoimmune condition by 
um, by you know addressing root cause things and and diet and and um, and, and things like that um, and it would be amazing eventually more more of a long-term goal I would really like to be able to uh, manage those things without the use of biologics. This is the last thing that I expected to um, really want to do to um, be on camera, to be um, featured in any way. Um, it's very out of the box for me and I was worried because I can be shy and, um, and, and probably pretty quiet for something like this, but uh, Everybody here is so is so amazing that I, I just really feel more excited than anything and it's really a comfortable vibe here. So you're gonna be all right now? Yeah, I'm gonna be all right. Good, good. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you. It was a pleasure and I'm glad to meet you. Uh, we've been talking, you've been holding me down and helping me for so long and, and even putting a lot of this together. I've, so, I've know. wanted to support this in any way that I can. I, I think it's, um, you know, I think I think it's something really special that you're doing. Yeah. So let's have another couple of amazing days and and you know and and make some changes. I'm ready for it. All right, girl. <laughs>That's why Dr. Barry calls it the proper human diet. Yeah. It's, it's what we're supposed to be doing. It's, it is. It Unfortunately, is. technology, modern society, all the things we've outsmarted our natural habitat, our natural nutrition and all those things, right? We're smarter than we think we are. And it's, it's made us go the opposite direction. I'm Coach Bronson. I've been a health and fitness coach for about 12 years. I've been carnivore for almost five years. And I got started in the whole journey in my mid-30s. I'm 50 now. I got started my journey uh, realizing that I was out of shape. I was not happy. I had IBS and a lot of other issues with my health. And it took me a while, like eight years, to find the perfect combination of fitness and nutrition that really made the difference in my quality of life. And it was that process that really helped me realize that it wasn't about fat loss. It wasn't about how I looked. It was about what my body could do and how well I could function in my day-to-day -day life. So Dennis has just come over to the lion's side a few years ago. What got you to do that? So I was diagnosed with type two diabetes and I uh, was put on medication immediately on three different medications. And <clears throat> after about a year, I said to myself, you know, I did some research on type two diabetes and realized that it can be, you can be healed or you can reverse type two diabetes. Yeah through diet and exercise. In uh, September, I found uh, Dr. Chafee, I started following him, and carnivore diet, did some research on it, and I did his challenge, and, I, and for the last four months, I felt amazing on just eating meat, eggs, butter, bacon. Um, all, just the good stuff. All, you know, all the good all stuff. All the good stuff, right. Um, and I, I, feel, I feel like a different person. Really and you're still off the medications? I'm still off the medications, yep. So my initial thought of carnivore diet was probably like everybody else's, that high fat diets are no good, it causes uh, you know, heart attack, hypertension, um, you know, disease. And I found out by researching that it actually is, that could be furthest from the truth and it actually is the way we're supposed to be eating. So we're sharing the, the knowledge, the information, 
in a, in the a experience. New, it, which is the experience, absolutely. Right, right. Because we've experienced it. We're not saying, hey, do this because I learned it in a book or from a class. We learned it because we did it ourselves right. and we feel the difference. Yeah. And we don't need the drugs. We don't need the dissections. We don't need the doctors. Yeah. And that's the big game changer. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Change it up. Change it up. And here we are in beautiful Costa Rica at the top of a mountain. Can't get any more changed up than oh this, Oh my God, right? this is like a, so amazing. So, so blessed. Yeah, right? very excited. Very excited oh, to be here with all you guys. That view. Look at that view. Awesome. It's awesome. Amazing. So did you know that beef is the most nutrient dense food? Yes, it is. Beef has more vitamins and minerals than kale, than blueberries, than all the things that we've been told are healthy. Beef is actually where it's at. So salt is super important when you do a carnivore or keto diet. And the reason is when you eliminate all the carbohydrates, all that water loss is eliminated. You can't just drink more water to stay hydrated because there's no carbohydrates to retain the water. What do you need to do? You need to add salt. Salt is your friend when it comes to energy, when it comes to moods. If you have those heavy legs walking upstairs, it's usually low sodium. So get your sodium on. It's really, really important. It's going to help with all of your things that, you know, the, the carnivore flu won't happen if you get your salt. And salt is not the devil. If you don't get enough sodium, you can die. Um, salt does not is what is causing the high blood pressure. What I mentioned before is the carbohydrates retain the water. If you eliminate those carbohydrates, guess what? Your blood pressure will come down to normal. Don't blame the salt. So when they say buy the low sodium foods, no. Eliminate the carbohydrates, get your meat on, add your salt in. Well, we are addicted to food because if you're not in some way, you're you're dead and so 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 because ultimately any of us my, my bet is will be overcome with that hunger and we'll focus on that we're not in that space where we need that but ultimately we only require fatty acids amino acids we have no requirement to ever eat a sugar a carbohydrate a plant and you know that's the part that and we're we, and we have no requirement to eat based on how we feel it's a, there's a difference between feeling a way and needing something. And a lot of people have that habit loop of that connects the food to the feeling. And in order to either avoid or to go towards a feeling, they use food as that tool. Yeah, so and, that's, that's, and that's a huge... The emotions of, of food and, yeah. our, and our feelings, which we've started at a young age when we're screaming and crying or acting out, we're just fed a carbohydrate, which <laughs> makes us happy yeah. and quiet. Right. But even on my end, I love to make tasty food for everybody. So, you know, like, I think that's part of it too. Like, we, it, it's, a, it's a part of our culture. And I think that there can be a happy medium of food not taking over your life, but, you know, food can satisfy you and keep you happy. So I think that, you know, there's a fine balance to walk on food being comforting and food being an obsession. Yeah. Some of us are stronger at the no part than others. I personally, about 12 years ago, fell into carnivore. And I was just watching on YouTube and finding someone that's doing this easy diet, very narrow, and uh, they were ripped and not exercising. And I said, that one's for me. And so I went carnivore. And basically it's steak, salt and water, but I threw in some eggs and some butter and things like that. And I not only personally did it, but I was finding that my patients were healing. They were getting pregnant, reducing miscarriages, carrying their babies to term, where nothing else in the Western world that I was taught was working as well as nutrition. Food is an enabler and not something that's actually holding you back. At least it should be. Yeah. It's the energy for our creativity. Yeah. That's, that's it. But, but as an Italian mm -hmm. uh, American, grew up with, with the family and all the meal. Every Sunday there was a meal of grandmothers and, and uh, all the great Italian food. And so that culture you know, keeps us there. And so our strength to be able to do that from time to time is something that some people can do, yeah. but I think many people can't. And I know that. Uh, I think more people need to just cut it out. 
I think a lot of people think they can moderate. <laughs> and then they're wondering why things aren't happening the way they should and right. they need to take it the next step. Amen. Even if it's just temporary. It doesn't have to be forever, but just temporary. Just to see what happens. Out. And then, then they have a choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cut this out. I feel great. Do I want to go back? Do I not want to go back? I now know what happens. But if you never take that step to give it a shot, just because you're so resistant against that, and the fact that you're resistant against, resistance against that is a sign that maybe you should do it. So, something to think about there. Many people will feel good enough on keto, and then when they, they, they do or try carnivore, it's like... I don't think it's a competition. I feel like carnivore is an extension of keto, and there's no judging. I'm not a judgy person whatsoever. So wherever you are in your journey, I think that taking steps, some people are like, yep, so let's rip the Band-Aid off and do it all at once. Let's just be carnivore. For some people, it's baby steps. And it was for me. And that's the struggle too for, I think, people making wanting to make the jump to try carnivore. They've lost connection with the pain that got them to start keto. Yeah. They were in a really <laughs> bad spot. That's why they went keto. Oh my God, everything's so great. Well, why do I need to do more? <clears throat> so there's a, there's a reconnection with, well, what it, it, to switch from the pain to the possibility. What if this could be like this? What if you could have this in your life? What if you could do this and not feel like you're physically limited or your health is limiting you? And making that transition from the pain to the possibility. Coming up on Reversed. Eating meat is not bad. There is no one solution. Right. Mm -hmm. there, you're going to hear things that, that may sound conflicting. You literally, this has been like a dream come true. Dedicate ourselves to a simple code. Know your food. Know your farmer. Our foods are loaded with omega-3s, CLA, branched-chain amino acids, and vitamins and minerals because we raise and prepare them in a healthy, sustainable way. Our efforts today allow our children and grandchildren to enjoy healthy food tomorrow. They're good for the planet and good for you. I'm really glad you all got here, nice and safe and sound. You know, I really think that um, at the end of this, there's gonna be some, some, some change, some growth. So I think the message that has to go out is the message of love, the message of peace. If you're looking for a way to optimize your carnivore diet and get the most nutrition possible, organ meats are probably the best way to go. But if you're like me and you don't like eating liver, you don't like eating organ meats because you just don't like the flavor or whatever, the best next option is to get some supplements where you're getting the actual organ with the actual full complement of bioavailable vitamins, minerals, and everything that you need to optimize your nutrition. MK Supplements is a family owned business that has offered to provide all of us here on the show some excellent product and it's something that you should look into if you really want to make the most out of everything that you're doing to improve your health. One of the things that I think we need to address and I really like people to understand is eating meat is not bad. Mm. And there's a lot of misinformation in this regard. I am Dr. Donald Vega. I am from Costa Rica. I'm a nutritionist. And I used to be a personal trainer since 1997, and I retired from that in 2019 because um, 
at that time I wasn't having an impact massively, which is what I want to have because I have this idea of promoting a healthy, fit, happy society. And the more people I can impact, the better and the biggest the movement. When you talk about the studies and people being scared of meat, it's because they've been told for years that meat is going to clog your colon, meat is going to raise your cholesterol, meat's going to give you a heart attack, all these things. And when you really look at the information that's out there and you start digging into what are they classifying as meat? Mm -hmm. Or they're classifying a happy meal with french fries and a bun and a milkshake as a meal of meat. And that's probably not, meat in that meal is probably not what the problem was. It's so true. They're studying the wrong people. Yeah. Well, and the studies are asking questions about what you ate. And they're uh, correlating that you ate some meat and you have cancer. And in fact, mm -hmm. meat had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. And so we also know that eating meat makes you healthier. <laughs> and I know personally, after going carnivore, I've never felt better. And we see our patients feel better. And so quite often we're looking for the science to give us the answer, but it really is right in front of us. Mm -hmm. As we've seen it in our communities that people who are doing carnivore uh, feel better. Their diseases melt away. And whether it's grass-fed or grain-fed, I, I don't think it's ultimately that important for the individual. Finding affordable food mm -hmm. is critical. Mm -hmm. And meat is one of the most energy dense, nutrient dense, and more affordable than people understand. My job in life as a doctor is to share ideas that you don't need me, which seems a little ironic, right? I'm sharing something that might put me out of business. Well, I feel in some ways that's why I went into medicine. My sister Mary Ann, who died at 52 of diabetes, she had it since age four. I saw the suffering. And what was the treatment? Well, it was insulin and mostly a plant-based diet. And then a good friend of mine, Dave, died of cancer at age 52. And I was really so intent on figuring out the why part of it. And could it be as simple as the healthy diet that we in the modern world and as physicians are recommending that you eat? And it's as sad as that and as simple as that. I've had many people tell me that they're saving about you know two thousand dollars a year on their groceries because they're buying just real food. They're hungry not so often because they're not messing with their blood sugar. They're not buying the junky ice cream and the snacks. And I don't know. I just think if you you know want to do it, you can. It's maybe just an excuse. Is the expense. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, you're working towards something that is not long-term because a diet, by definition, is something you do temporarily because, you, you know, what are the things associated to dieting? Dieting, you're always hungry, uh, you can eat whatever you want, uh, you go to a party and you, can share, you can't share with people, you're bullied uh, socially, you have all these problems, and also you gain your weight back. The word diet as I said, is very loaded with negative um, meanings for our subconscious. And what we do is we teach people that they need to change their lifestyle. We go really hard into the mindset. So changing the, uh, the, the meaning of doing this, not as a diet, but as a long-term intervention or a way of eating, just changing these two or three words immediately goes under the defenses of the subconscious mind and people can start to plan long term and they finally can understand this is not to lose weight this is you will finally start to gain your health back but don't do it short term don't do a diet that's something that i really really want people to understand and, and appreciate there is no one solution. Right. Mm -hmm. there, you're going to hear things that, that may sound conflicting, but understand the context of who's talking, where they're talking from, what their experience is, who they're talking to, and all of that stuff. And don't be afraid to try something. Right. This experience is about trying something you may, thought, may never have thought of doing before. And that's really where the power is. Mm -hmm. Try it. See what happens. High Maybe fat versus high protein. The biggest thing is just get rid of the processed foods. Like right. that's our same, our, the right. message across the board. That's what you need to do.
you know, and then again, find out what works. Okay, yep. great. Well, I'm glad we're here and I, we hope to make a huge impact. On we will. The audience. So I am beyond thrilled to be here with all of you. Literally, this has been like a dream come true for me, you know. I've worked with some of you guys before and I thank you for even coming back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Maria came all the way from Hawaii. We've got Dr. Kiltz here, almost flew his own plane here. You know, we've got folks coming here from, from all around the country and all around the world. And, um, you know, I think we could do something really special here. You know, one of the reasons that I, I, I thought about doing this was because um, I wanted the, the, the information to be in a cons concise place where people could be educated and not, you know, have to go here and there and there and get it on this YouTube or that place and kind of <laughs> kind of have it all in one, <laughs> one stop. And you guys are really the stars of this. I'm, I'm just laying back and just watching you guys make wonders and um, I thank you for trusting me, number one, because uh, this was just my little dream and, uh, and, and I gotta thank Maria, she, her and her husband, literally, they have been just amazing and helping us with, with, with everything. Thank you. So thank you. Oh, our honor. <laughs> so um, I guess dinner is served and did you wanna tell everybody what it was, Maria? I made carnivore lasagna and if you've never had brown butter, it's amazing. I made a brown butter sauce and it's with protein noodles and you're gonna enjoy it, so. We're gonna love it. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a big learning curve for most of us because we're so used to eating uh, carbohydrates or vegetables than understanding the benefits of uh, adding more uh, meats and more protein into your day to day. So much information and just chatting with them, whether it was on camera, off camera, there's you know, questions they had all the answers for. Um, and it's just really, it's, it's been a great time so far. I'm in my prime, so to speak, being diagnosed in the very midst of when history is being changed with this kind of show, and it, it was God sent. So I want to learn on this show also, I don't want to get a diabetes diagnosis. I don't want to suffer the pre-diabetes symptoms. I don't want to have to go through all those painful, debilitating things that people with diabetes have to suffer from. For, so this is a golden opportunity for me. So we had an amazing first day. Many of the experts are on their way to the house. And it was good having some one-on-one -on -one time and catching up before things really got into gear. This is going to be exciting. And it's an honor to be a part of it. Tune in to the next episode of Reversed. You can lose fat and gain muscle and your weight doesn't change at all. No plants, no sugar, nothing artificial. Well, what I've learned is our standard American diet, which is pretty much a high plant-based, lean meat diet and no red meat, is causing all of our problems. To see someone go from so strong, your husband go from so strong to so weak, can't even walk. If I use the word lapse, if I say how to come back after a lapse, do any of you know what that means? You have nothing to lose. Just try it and we're here to support you. Welcome to Vista Atenas. <laughs>